Why, boys and girls, welcome back to another Bible story with Miss Susan Skidder. And today we have Buddy and Ellie with us with their story too. Well, before we get started with our Bible story, which is going to be Peter Escapes, I want us to do our Bible verses. So, our first verse is found in 1 John 3, 1. God's love for us is great. Now, say it with me, boys and girls. 1, 2, 3. 1 John 3, 1. God's love for us is great. Great job. Now let's do our other verse Miss Katie taught us. It's found in 2 Timothy 1, 7. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Now you say it with me. One, two, three. 2 Timothy 1, 7. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. All right, boys and girls, I'll see you at the end of our time together and we'll do our verses again. All right, Skitter loves you. So long. Well, hi, buddy. Oh, woof. Hi, hi, Ellie. Oh, buddy, wow. You seem like a very droopy dog today. I am. I went far, far away for two whole days. Woof. Oh, I bet that was fun. Where did you go? Well, we went on a car trip. I didn't know you could drive. Ellie, woof, I can't drive. I rode in the car with my person. Oh, did you see new things? I saw lots of new things. I saw really big trees, and I saw really big rocks, and I saw a lake, too. Hey, buddy, did you go camping? Well, I don't know. We slept in a tent. Boys and girls, what do you think? Did Buddy go camping? I think he went camping. You did go camping. Did you get to swim in the lake? I did. It was very cold water. Brr, I had to shake and shake to keep dry and warm. So, you went far away and saw very different things. Buddy, were you scared? No, I had my person with me all the time. That's why I didn't get scared and bark a lot. We walked a long way too, and that was fun. And now you're back home. Are you glad to be home? Yep, I sure am. Woof, woof. It was very cold sleeping in a tent. But I have a fur coat, and that helped me stay warm. Hey, Ellie, did you ever sleep in a tent? Yes, I have. I have gone camping lots of times. One time, I even saw a bear. A bear? Oh, woof, woof, woof. I would have barked and barked and barked and barked. Did you bark at the bear, Ellie? No. Buddy, I didn't bark at the bear, but there were some dogs there, and they sure barked and barked at the bear. But, Buddy, God was with us, even in that far-off place. Well, I'm glad you came home, Ellie. I am, too. But whether we go far away or whether we're right here together, I know God is always with me, and God always loves me. Woof, woof. Hey, boys and girls, have you ever gone camping, too? Wow, I bet it was fun. Well, remember, 
when you're camping or going on trips or when you're home or going to school. It doesn't matter where you are. Woof, woof, woof. God is always with you. Just like our verses say that God's love for us is great and we don't have to be afraid because God gives us a spirit of love and power and a sound mind. I sure love God's word. It makes me feel so happy inside. Me too, buddy. All right, well, I gotta go. I'll see you next time. Bye. I gotta go too, boys and girls. I'm gonna take a long nap in the sunshine. Bye-bye. Hi, boys and girls. Welcome back to another Bible story with Miss Susan. I just look at this time as such a privilege and a great opportunity for me to be able to read from the Bible, God's Word, the true stories, uh, and share them with you while you're in your home. Uh, well, today's Bible story is called Peter Escapes from Prison. It's found in the book of Acts, chapter 12, verses 1 through 18. Peter was put into prison by the king. His friends were afraid he'd be killed. But could they do anything to help him? They could pray. So they prayed day and night. Peter was chained between two guards. Many more soldiers guarded the prison. But God sent an angel. The angel said, Get up, Peter, and follow me. The chains fell off of Peter's hands, but both guards stayed asleep. Peter followed the angel through the prison. Not one guard woke up. The big prison gate swung open by itself. Who swung that gate open? Yeah, God did. Peter thought he was dreaming. The angel led him a little way and then left. Peter was standing in the street. He was free. Peter said to himself, God has rescued me. So he hurried to where his friends were praying. He knocked on the door and a girl named Ron Rhoda answered. Peter said, it's me, Peter. I'm out of prison. Rhoda was so glad Peter was safe that she forgot to open the door. Instead, she ran to tell everyone who had been praying, Peter is here. They didn't believe her at first, but she kept saying, no, it's really Peter. Well, Peter waited and waited outside of the door. Finally, the door opened. Peter came inside. He told his friends how God had rescued him. They were glad to see Peter, and they were very glad to hear and see what God had done to answer their prayers. Wow, what a miracle in, a, in today's story. Peter was in prison, and God sent an angel, and Peter just walked right out of prison. And I love that the people of the church were together and they were praying and praying and praying for Peter today and God heard their prayers and he answered yes I will help Peter escape from prison God always hears our prayers and like you know Buddy and Ellie today realized that no matter where we are God is always with us and we know that God always loves us now, sometimes when we go through hard times, boys and girls, and we pray for God to take us out of that hard time, He hears our prayer and He answers, but sometimes He says, No, you need to learn some lessons through this. Or He says, Not now, but just be patient, maybe in a little while. And then sometimes 
Like with Peter, God says yes. And he just miraculously helped Peter escape from prison. <laughs> our God is everywhere. Our God knows everything. And our God is all powerful. And I love him so much. All right, boys and girls. Miss Susan wants to um, pray a prayer of blessing over you uh, before Skidder comes back. All right, so remember we, we want to close our eyes and bow our heads so that we're not distracted. And we can either fold our hands or you can join Miss Susan in lifting our hands as we pray. God, I just thank you for today's Bible story and how you showed us that you are always with us no matter where we go. And you love us no matter what we do. God, I just lift these boys and girls and their families up to you right now. And I pray for your protection to be upon them in every way. God, I thank you that they heard the truth of your word today. And I pray that those seeds of truth would get, would, would get rooted deeply into their hearts and grow into knowledge of who you are and how much you love them. God, I just want to say a, pray, a special prayer of protection and blessing on the families, Lord, who have first responders in their families. God, I pray that you would just wrap your arms of love and peace around them. Let them know you are with them. Let them know how much you love them. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, it's time for me to go. But before I go, I want to remind you that Miss Susan loves you with all my heart. You are very special to me. You're even more special to God. All right, it's time for Miss Susan to say bye-bye. Well, thank you, Miss Susan and Buddy and Ellie for those Bible stories and for our puppet story. Now... Uh, when I was listening to the Bible story of Peter in prison and the church praying for God to help him escape, it made me think of our verse that Miss Katie taught us and that we can say when we're afraid. Because I bet they felt kind of afraid, didn't they? And it's okay to feel afraid, but... Because we have God's word, we can say God's word, and God helps us stop feeling afraid. I bet that's really helped Peter today, and it helped the church praying for him today, too. All right, let's say our verses. Ready? I'm going to say it first, and then you join me. Our first one is 1 John 3, 1. God's love for us is great. Now let's do it together. One, two, three. First John 3, 1. God's love for us is great. Great job, everyone. Now let's do our other verse. Second Timothy 1, 7. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Now you say it with me, boys and girls. One, two, three. Second Timothy 1, 7. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. That was awesome. All right, it's time for Skitter to go again, but I want you to remember that I love you very, very much, but Jesus loves you more. Jesus loves you most out of everyone in the whole world. That's pretty amazing. His love for us is great, just like the Bible told us today in our memory verse. All right, boys and girls, I'll see you next time. Until then, bye-bye.